I'm trying to figure out what the meter is right there. Gotcha. Well, why I say right there? Hey, parking two hour limit. What's up with you guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the Life of an Ikea YouTube channel, man. In today's video, we out here enjoying. We're about to grab food. Oh, y'all. Looking forward to some more car content. But for today, this is another lifestyle vlog, man. We out here with my mom. My little sister, one of my little sisters, we out here with Secure. So yeah, we out here, man. We about to see what's going on here. This place called Carly, or Kaylee. Is it Kaylee? What's the name of this place? This I place? Think, I think it's Carlisle. Oh, okay. Nah, it might be, what, why you say that? Do it got an R in it? I thought it's K-A-Y-L-E. Oh yeah, C. Yeah, guys, we about to check that out, man. Today we out here in Arlington area, Crystal City to be exact. That's fun. They got like bread place right here. And, but we going to C-A-R-L-Y-L-E. Here it go right here. So yeah, guys, we out here in Arlington today. Yeah, she did. I hope it's nice. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the way it look, guys. I like the atmosphere so far. What types of different bread is in there? It's like a raisin one and then just a regular one. So those are rolls up top or what is yeah. that? Yeah, I think it's rolls. Okay, what is this? I don't know. Raisin, like a raisin. Bread. And then what about this one? And it's, it's warm like too. Yeah, guys, that's warm. What did they give it? Give us to dip it in butter. 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 Just one. I'm gonna just spread it on there. Gotcha. What you think? Mm -hmm. It's good. It's bread. Do it taste like? How would you compare it to other restaurants like Texas Roadhouse, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Golden Corral? Okay. Do it so it's not as good it's as. Like Factory. Okay. White bread, so softer. Gotcha. Got the spinach dip on deck. What is that right there? Gotcha. Y'all see how we live. Y'all see how we doing it, man. We out here in Arlington. I got one of my sisters with me today, Zakira. And I got my mom with us as well. Um, but yeah, we got the bread, spinach dip. Yeah, guys, I'm just grateful to be out here enjoying lunch. My family man, so I'll get back to y'all with a surprise with a bang on what I ordered guys. Um I was thinking about getting something light, but I I was considering getting something light, but I ended up um getting something a little bit heavier for today because I'm back on my one meal a day type stuff, so I got the uh y'all will see it in a second guys, but yeah, so instead of it being a light day today, I ended up getting something a little bit heavier. But yeah, man, I weighed in. I'll show y'all the screenshot in a minute. I'll show y'all the screenshot. 174 pounds on the scale, guys. So uh, right now it's August. What's the, the exact date? I want to make sure. August 17th. And uh, we weighing in at 174 pounds. Uh, the goal is to hit 165 by the end of the year. I think it's really obtainable. But yeah, guys, we'll see. Thank y'all for staying on this journey with me. Yeah, man, so I get back to y'all when the food come out. Let y'all know what this bread tastes like in a minute. And that too. I don't be knowing how I'm looking on the other side of the phone either. So I just be constantly guessing most of the time. But it should look fine. It was crazy, like, I did one at Applebee's and that one did way better than I thought it was going to. What you get that day in Applebee's? Um, they have the $5 app appetizers or something like that between 4 to 6 p.m. And we got like five different appetizers. Mm -hmm. So mozzarella sticks, um, boneless wings, 
different flavors, stuff like that. But yeah, that one did good. What you think about the, the dip? It's good. What do you think, Secure? It's okay. That's all right. Do y'all want it mixed or no? Yeah. That's all right. Let me try it. They used to have like the Applebee's. I used to get their um, the little tacos with the crunchy shell or something, or whatever. They look pretty good for the appetizers. And then, not good right now. Mm -hmm. But have you had the dip from Ruth Chris? Which one? Which one do they have? You told me what the crab It's like some spinach artichoke dip or something like that. Yeah. From Ruth Chris. That's good. It's good. I think they serve it to you on bread or something. That's good. Uh, like a little piece of bread. Uh huh. I, um, they got a happy hour, and we, just, we, we go up there and sit outside on the balcony park. Okay. And the, the cheeseburger is pretty good. They got like a bacon cheeseburger, and they got like some little hot sippers or something like that, some little bam bam shrimp. No, nah, that artichoke dip here, that yeah. was crazy. So but this one is pretty tasty too, though. Go there for happy hour, though, with you, Chris. They sit on the outside. I said you can get the burger and the artichoke dip or whatever you did to go. <laughs> that dip hit though. They did a good job with it. Oh, I just thought it was like thicker or something. Oh, like, uh -huh. you know when they have in the cast iron skillet? Hmm? You know when they have in the skillet? Uh -huh. I think I like that more than the bowl. Uh -huh. So the, the top be like kind of crunchy. Mm -hmm. The shin give us not one straw. I guess we don't. They don't serve straws here. No, they're gonna have one straw. They ain't trying to cut back. They want straws. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Uh, I'm gonna try this roll now, guys. Uh, oh, the roll kind of tough though. <laughs> it's not. It's on the inside. Yeah, that's that. I yeah, know it was a big scoop of butter though. Don't dip it again. No more butter? No, don't dip it. You do the knife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try it with this. How does the butter taste? Because you know, some taste like honey butter. No, it's just butter. Some it's taste extra salty. Some taste unsalted. It's just plain butter. Mm -hmm. I did find out when we was at um, Outback, the dude said all those ass for the honey butter before. Okay. Oh, so they might have honey butter. That's the one I like. I know it's a. I think that one is more calories though. Yeah, the outside is real tough, but the inside is. Soft. Yeah, but yeah, they call it mukbangs when you eat the food. Talk about what it tastes like, your experience, stuff like that. Okay. I've been trying to just up all types of different content up there. So, question. So, if you start getting like all the bunch of people you, you can you ask the restaurant to start paying you? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll pay you to review their restaurant on your, on your platform. Well, I remember the dude, he got reviewing now. Y'all more buck up. Uh, yeah, he got reviewing now. He was inside the hot chair to boot up. Look <laughs> later. And still skinny. Yeah. Well, she was smiling. That's what made me say, no, I don't know. What? Excuse me. Can I get um, some sweet tea? Sweet tea, yeah. Is y'all want some? Oh, and some straws. Straws. Uh-huh. I'll get a sweet tea, too. Sweet tea. No, thank you. Thank you. Brought the sweet tea out and was smiling from ear to ear. She sure was. That's why I don't know what they put in that. <laughs> <laughs> too happy to get that man. That's sweet tea. I turned into a, a goop. Y'all already know she just took me
you like it out here in Arlington compared to um, Richmond? You like which one more? Richmond. Okay. Richmond more down to earth. Why? Why? I like here more than Richmond. Richmond's so antique and old. Like. Better people though. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like more bread? Yes. Yes. And butter. Yeah. Alright. Then you don't, like you try to go ten minutes to the street here. That turns into a thirty minute ride. Oh, like two mile drive, which should be like ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Here in Richmond, I can just catch the bus somewhere and get there in fifteen minutes. You can do that here too, though. I guess. It's just an old time for me out there. A lot of people say they like to hear what they said the traffic is going to be here. However, I do actually now get my I do like the city. Thank you. One second. Show you all this bread one more time. I get a bread. I give the bread a um 8.5. I get a bread. What you get a bread, girl? One out of ten. What about you, Mom? I get a bread like an eight. An eight? Yeah, I, I locked in at like an eight point five for some reason. I don't know why, but and the and the dip probably like nine. a nine. nine. Yeah, they yeah, they hit the spot on the dip. I think the chips could have been a little bit better. What y'all think? They could have, like, but but the, the dip took it over top. Yeah, yeah. So I get a dip a nine out of ten too, guys. So I'll get back to y'all when the main dishes get here. They got they just got the sweet teas. Yeah, they look all right. They look like normal sweet tea, so. Yeah, man. So the main dishes just touched down, man. I got baby back, barbecue baby back ribs right here. Fries, shoestring fries. Was, I was expecting them to be a little bit thicker like steak fries, but it's all good. So we got the barbecue, we got the barbecue baby back ribs, and then we got fries and also some cold slaw as well. Um, we still got a dip, we working on that. What you get, Mom? I got the Louisiana pasta. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty tasty right there. I ain't even gonna lie. That that looks good. When you added shrimp, right? I added shrimp, shrimp what? and chicken. Okay, okay. Yeah, that looked good. What you got over there, Zakir? Lobster roll, fries, and corn. Can I, um, let me see, what, hold up. Oh, that's the lobster up under there. Gotcha. You can't really. What is that on top of it? This is lobster. So I'm talking about this. Lobster. This is lobster. The white stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. What is that under uh, underneath it? Bread. Gotcha. Okay. And then corn. Yep. And fries. Yep. Yeah, guys. So y'all let me know what y'all think about these dishes down below. We're going to go ahead and dive in and then give y'all our score on this, uh, on these different entrees today, guys. So. We about to dive in, get back to y'all once we, once we're able to give it a full taste and review, and then we'll give y'all our score. These shoestring fries. I wanted some steak fries, but I ain't complaining though. No. I ain't complaining at all. Oh, okay. Guess you can really eat that with your fork. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What you doing? What is this right here that he gave you? Buttermilk ranch. He said they ain't got ranch. He looks like it's like ranch. It tastes like ranch. Man, I want some ranch too. For my fries. Okay. Slide down a little bit so I'm not over your, you know. Like, just move that down. Just slide it down. Yeah, I get, I get some. Like this on this side. I might as well just finish this. Let me know what you think about it first. Okay.
what it tastes like? You said it's spicy? I don't do spicy. I don't do spicy. This is not spicy. It's more than $31 entree. I heard somebody, I ain't even gonna say it. Thank you. Yeah, that's good right there. That sauce. <laughs> that sauce here. It's not too watery and it's not too thick. Plate be gone. You want this shit? That's our one. This shit? Mm -hmm. I shrimp good too. I hate when I eat seafood and it tastes real seafood. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, Skira? Mm -hmm. Probably glacier. It tastes like Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. That dip ain't nothing but pure sodium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Along with the french fries. Pure salt. I knew I should have got broccoli. <laughs> then guys, we had the nerve yesterday to get some ice cream, but the ice cream was good though. I ain't get a chance to record that for y'all, but um, what was the name of it, Mom? Thomas. Okay, yeah, Thomas. Thomas Sweets, um, in Georgetown area, DC. Like, make sure y'all check that out. And it was price. Huh? Out the door. Oh yeah, it was. It was. We had just made it there at the perfect time. So, but yeah, guys, that was cool. That was good. So make sure y'all check it out. And it was priced reasonably. It was, it was price decent. For I mean, for the amount of ice cream we got, we couldn't even finish it. It was so good. I can't finish it. And I don't even. I don't even eat ice cream like that. And they gave a um generous amount in the topping too. But all right, man, I'm about to try these ribs for the first time. Uh, they fall right off the bone. I ain't had to pull and pry the meat off. Yeah, try that one. Go ahead, grab it. I ain't had to pull and pry the bone off. It just fall right off, guys. See why these thirty dollars? <laughs> they smell good. We had this one. Oh. Right yeah, this cool. They cool. My main concern was the barbecue sauce because they could be cooked really good and then put the wrong sauce up there and just tear the whole. <laughs> Okay, the whole, uh, real good. It's not too powerful. Some people barbecue sauce be too aggressive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the rib is definitely 
look at the sponge, guys. So I'm trying it out. Carlisle, I believe. Carlisle. How you think it's pronounced, girl? Mm -hmm. C-A-R-L-Y-L-E. Car Lily? Well, guys, let me spell it for you. It's C-A-R-L-Y-L-E. So come check it out. We're going to see. Oh, well, yeah, guys, I'll get back to y'all when we finish eating. So far, I get mine a 10 out of 10. I did not attend out of 10 as well. What you think, Secure? 10 out of 10. For real? Okay. I will definitely be back, guys. Well, hold up. I, we ain't gave the final assessment just yet. <laughs> not until we pay the bill. Because I'll tell y'all one thing. Like, I, I strongly dislike when I go places and they don't greet me when we come in. They say, hello, when you come in. Or when you leave and they say goodbye. But then you see them do it to the people who before or after you. So I can't get a final assessment just yet until we leave because as you can see, my mom and sister is in here squatting, trying to avoid bugs. Excuse me, you would have thought we were sitting outdoors. We sitting indoors. And like we seeing that and we sitting right here by the kitchen. I get it, but I don't know, man. I, they it, That may have dropped them like two points. Like what is y'all uh, squatting at? Correct. Correct. That's the only thing. The downside that we get to. We get to about two nuts. Okay. But to be fair, it is nasty. Then every restaurant we have been to this week has had one or two nuts. I don't think ice cream spot did. We would outside sweat mosquitoes. Not nuts. I'd rather sweat a nuts than mosquito. Yeah, but when I was inside, they didn't have no nuts. Yeah, but that's the only thing. Yeah, but when I was inside there, they won't sweat. You were in there that long. You were in there long enough. Well, we went to um, the day before that had nets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, man, I'll get back to y'all with the final assessment in a moment, but that's just ridiculous at this point. <laughs> All right, go. Should have got the other one. Yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, guys. So, um, hold on. Let's get Zakira's first. So, what you? Yeah, let's cross right here. What you think? What you think about like how would you assess the restaurant? Let me show y'all the outside right quick too. They go to the outside just in case if I didn't show it to y'all earlier. That is it right there, guys. Anyway, Zakira, what you think about that jank? You know it says stop and that truck about that bus coming. Oh, they turning. All right, Ma, what you think? The food was excellent. I'll definitely be back with, with, with the food. The waitress, she was really good as well. It was one or two nets, but it is the season for it. As far as the exit experience, something I didn't like, because I'm big on providing excellent customer service, make sure you greet your person that was in the restaurant and say, see you next time or have a great day. So that's my final assessment, but the food was on point. So one out of 10, which, I mean, zero out of 10, what you rated? I would rate it a nine. Okay. It could have been a 10 if we got the goodbye. Gotcha. And then I didn't see any nuts. Gotcha. Oh yeah, we won't have it to swarm the food and all that. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna get a restaurant at 8.5. Um, our, our waiter, she provided great customer service. Um, they took good care of us today. And the food was tasty. The food was prepared well. It came out in a timely fashion. Um, we didn't have to wait for it all day. Uh, I mean, overall, guys, it was a great experience. It wasn't, I mean, for what we got, it was priced, it was priced decently. I ain't gonna say reasonably, it was at a decent price. But, um, yeah, guys, everything was good. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's over there in the door. But, uh, how would you rate the restaurant, Secure?
we all took a well Nike didn't but I took a to go box I took a to go box um it was good would you be asked last but not least would you come back I'd come back yeah okay but um yeah guys this is gonna wrap up the review of this restaurant out here in Arlington make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video um we about to go out and do a little bit of shopping in Crystal City so stay tuned for that video man y'all let me know what y'all think about this restaurant um I'm gonna just call it Car Car Lily Car Lily Carly Car Lily I'm gonna just call it Car Lily guys so yeah, man, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what y'all think about the restaurant, the food, the vibe, the atmosphere. And I appreciate y'all watching it. Uh, BXD for life. See you at the time.